and he's going to smudge these goods like I talked about, where my grandma had saw, saw fit to do today. Smudge these giveaway goods, and at this time, we'll, he'll, I'm going to turn the mic over to him and ask him to say a few words on behalf of my uncle, James Parker Shields. Oh, miigwech. You know, many of times, I think about these people here in Great Falls, Ojibwe, they should not be. They've been having a hard time trying to get a place where they call home. But, like, I was thinking about the old people. They carry these uh, sweet grass, a pipe. They ask for a lot of good things. Uh, they ask where they can raise their family, have ceremonials, like that. So it's like that back home in Rocky Boy. <clears throat> I hope someday soon, Ojibwe people, Mr. Napi, to, to call home here someplace here in Montana. Because it's pretty hard nowadays. These white people, they can't understand how we feel because they took everything away from us. Now they put us in this little reservations. The white people promise that as long as this sun goes, as long as the creek are going, he said they want to keep helping Native American Indian, which they never did. They, they put us in places like this, the reservations. But someday, someday, I'll say my nephew here, ask my sister here to pray, ask the kind God, or Mother Earth, someday, soon, you'll find a reservation here someplace. That's my wish for these people, Shinabi. Ojibwe. Myself, my father, Joe Standing Rock, was a full blood Chippewa. My mother was a Cree. I'm a Chippewa Cree. So I'm not afraid to pray because I believe in prayers myself. Many of times people ask me to do this for them, such as this giveaway. It returned it things back how they spend their, their money to give these things away. I just want to say a little bit like that, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to give good luck for these people right here, James Parker Shields. Trying hard, pray this man up here, because you see, you see everything that you guys, how you want it for yourself. Someday, like I said, get a, at least a land where you can raise your children, have a powwow, ceremony like that. Use a pipe, don't give up. Someday, maybe one of these white people, they'll listen, they'll listen to you and they'll give you something like that to be thankful. That's all I want to say, good luck. Now, let me go get some more. Get to get to help you so not to you and so not to you. Then we should put them all, then we should put it on the table. That's your piece of art, came on my own time. That's your six months. That's your good, a given eight month old task. My gun, take a piece of art, tiatic, the witness, the gist of the gnaws. Who's for and got his monta, my cousin? They fish to my notes, you know, you have me with it. Tanti it's an 
Pesik de Malinot, Pegan Hiska, Tarnash Hunta, Minutan Gamon, what I have missed where he got no Kumagan, then he saw out of him, Tatuagishka, Hegaida Pisa Gutama, Kia, Guagish Multa, Mamo Yotaima, Tuaginot, and Tanish, and I know seven I got me to him at this, and Miska is Multa. Then Miss Tama, the guy of Muno Tama, the guy of Muno Tama, and give it. Sigay, my Miska who Tama, give it. My pay a kiss, I watch you, yes, Tanto, the Miss Tamagino, who Tau, let me start to start a home. Homo de Putao, no, let his car is Multatan, let me send a head, the magister, yes, we will tag on. Pegis in the mag, old stay, ma, and one anna gets my toe. Mr. Pito, I'm going to ask you to tell me how you're not asking. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to ask you to ask me to ask you. I'm going to ask you to ask me to ask you. Thank you. Thank you, Douglas. I appreciate that on behalf of the family, James Parker Shields' family here. At the time, we'd like to have the families, the family come up here. Are we going to give out the gifts? Just kind of hand them out. You know, ladies and gentlemen, as they're deciding what to do here, James Parker Shields here in, in his committee that they put on this powwow, it takes a lot of work and effort to put on a powwow and raise money. It takes time away from your family, it takes money out of your pocket. But he just acknowledged that drum over there with a few dollars. And I think he gave some ice cream money over to Douglas Standing Rock. Um, so with that, I guess uh, if we'll just have your family go ahead and start dispersing the, the gifts. We want to thank the committee for the time that uh, we that you acknowledged us here with. We know that time is pressing, and but this way, this giveaway is part of this circle. It's part of this way. So, as the family hands these out, just start. Okay. Joel Overton. Joel Overton. We like it. The family would like you to come on up and receive a gift. <laughs> Jesse O'Hara. Jesse O'Hara, come on up and please get a gift from the family up here. Jesse O'Hara, we have a family representative from Jesse. We get a family member from Jesse O'Hara to please come up and accept a gift on his behalf. And Gerald Gray Jr. James Parker Shields would like to acknowledge you with a blanket, a gift. Please come on up and shake his hand. Tribal Chairman of the Little Shell Band, Gerald Gray. Lee Hool, Lee Hool, come on up. Lee Hool, you have a snag and blanket on behalf of James Parker Shields. Sean Ironmaker. Marvin Farmer.
Tony Prairie Bear. Tony, come on up and receive a gift from James. Henry Anderson, Henry Anderson, come on up. Sean Running Crane, please come on up and accept a gift from James Parker Shields family. George Sutherland. Come on up, George Sutherland. You know, again, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for taking this time, but James here, he's very humble to be put in this position as uh, president of this committee, and he's acknowledging all his help and all his support here. So be patient with us, please. The Little Shell Tribal Princess. Little Shell Tribal Princess, come on up. <laughs> Kitana Slansburg. Little Shell Princess. Hey, nice to meet you. Ducky, great boy. Come on up. Gerald Stiffarm. James Park would like to acknowledge you with a gift. Charles Ducky, great boy. You've been called up as well. Fran Flesh. 
Fran, come on up. This is Johnny Silversmith. Come on up and receive a gift, please. Colleen Hill. Colleen Hill, come on up, please. She outside eating an Indian taco? Colleen Hill. We're looking for Colleen Hill. Oh, there she is. Mrs. Douglas Standing Rock, Pauline. <laughs> Mrs. Marcus Red Thunder. This is our head woman dancer for the powwow. <laughs> Leona Kynenberger. Leona. Lawrence Myers. Lawrence Myers. <laughs> Jeff at the concession stand. Come on up, Jeff. Jeff, come on up from the concession stand. We would like to acknowledge you, Parker Shields family. I'd like to acknowledge you with a gift. Come on up. You know, James here asked me to express himself too, that he's humbled to be president of this power committee. And he wants to encourage the Little Shell people to get involved here at this power. He needs young people to help him carry on this power away. So with that, this concludes our gift giving ceremony. We want to thank again, thank the committee for allowing us to have this little bit of time to express ourselves. 
uh, how proud we are of James and his accomplishments and my, my grandma here. So with that, thank you. I'll turn it back over to Gerald here. Jason Delacorte for the humble way that you conducted yourself up here. It's an honor when elderly people ask you to speak on their behalf for two reasons. They trust you with their feelings and they respect the fact that you have a spiritual gift to share here in the circle. First of all, on behalf of the Little Shell Tobacco Program, these are the winners for session number two. So we can go back to their vendor's table there. Natasha Falls, you want a water bottle. Linda Redboy, a sweatshirt. Loretta Carrier, a t-shirt. Robert Ellery, a water bottle. And Sierra Bateman, you want a backpack. So you five are winners. Natasha Falls, Linda Redboy, Loretta Carrier, Robert Ellery, and Sierra Bateman. One tape left of the Good Assiniboine Creed. You can't go wrong buying this for 20 bucks. They got one tape left. I promised them I'd sell it. So if you have to throw in, I'll flip it. If it lands on a Cinnamon Cree, who put the money in first wins it, it flips over. The second contributor gets it. $20 if you can help me get this sold. At this time, a uh, running child, if you please get ready. We'd like to have the family of Katea Flansburg and Jaslyn Flansburg to please come forward. Our appropriate offerings were made for me to speak on behalf of these people. They reside on the Fort Belknap Indian Reservation. They have married into both nations of Nakota and Ahaninen. In the spirit of education, in the spirit of athletics, these people have contributed a lot especially to the community of Dodson. They've done a lot for the Fort Belknap Indian Reservation. They have responsibly held jobs. They have held on to their dignity as little shell people. They have served on school boards. They have led and been team captains of athletic teams. But most importantly, they have stayed together as family. Katea Flansburg is a junior princess. Jasmine Flansburg is a tiny tot princess. She's very ill. Following this ceremony, the family chooses to take her to the hospital. At this time, before I acknowledge the family information, I'd like to have Mrs. Pearl Longknife Grayboy to please come forward and to stand with the family. Some of you may remember one year ago, four seasons ago, a traditional Lakota woman that she is, Pearl Longknife Grayboy noticed that this committee did not have a princess, an official hostess. This woman here, for the past year, she worked by herself many days to ensure that we have a 49th annual Malcolm Indian Days on the Fort Bellop Indian Reservation. She hails from the Lodgepole District next to where these people live in the Dotson District in the Dotson area. So let's give Pearl Long Life Baby a round of applause. It's good to see her relaxing here this weekend because she worked nonstop for 12 months such that the Fort Bellop Indian Celebration, Indian Reservation can have a grass dance celebration. It was because of Pearl's interest that these two girls were put forth as the junior princess and princess attendant. So Grandma Pearl, if you'll join Grandma Leona, we'd like to have you dance with her. The parents, Desiree Killeagle, an outstanding athlete and educator at Dotson Public Schools. The father is Dwight Flansburg. The paternal grandparents are Wendy Stiffarm, Arden and Audrey Flansburg. The great parents, the great grandparents on the maternal side, the late Jeb Stiffarm and Barbara Whitecow. The great-great-grandmother, Serena LaRock. 
Serena King Lara. The maternal grandparents, Wes and Iris Killeagle. The great grandparents, Bruce and Leona Kinnenberger. Sarah and the late Leslie Killeagle. Katea and Jasmine both attend the Dawson Public Schools. One's a first grade, one's a second grader. They reside with their mother, Desiree, who is a kindergarten teacher there in the Dawson Public Schools. They were appointed in the 2012 powwow to carry through, thanks to the heart feelings of Pearl Long Left Grey Boy. They'll be continuing their reign as we present them to you at this time. So, Ronnie Child, if you do us the honors, they have selected a fellow princess, J.C. Doney, an outstanding young lady who represents Harlem High School, an outstanding, humble young lady who simply enjoys her culture, comes from the Iron Man family, and we certainly appreciate, and the Toxtripper family comes from two strong bloodlines. That's why, if you notice, she dances tall. She dances proud because her spirit goes back many generations in a good way. She joins this family at this time. So as we parade them once again in the spirit of ceremony, because this area has been blessed by the grass dancers, do not shake their hands until the conclusion of the song. As a matter of fact, Desri is holding Jaslyn, who's too sick, and respect the protocol, Desiree will stand here with me and allow the family to dance in honor of both girls. So all, if you are related to any of these families, the Killigals, the Flansbergs, the Stiff Arms, the White Cows, the Kings, the Larocs, the Kennenbergers, you are certainly, and Sarah Fox, you are certainly welcome and encouraged to be a part of this. All members of the Little Shell Tribal Council, your second vice chairman is honoring her great-granddaughter, and her honor is your honor, so I encourage you to dance with her. Without further ado, I ask you to please rise, pay your respects to the honoring possession of Katea and Jasmine Flantenberg, your junior princess and tiny top princess. Okay, running child, do us the honors, please.
beautiful song straight from the heart. Now's the time that you can extend your wishes and goodwill to these princesses. But the reason why this young lady, JC, in traditional way she knows, she's been asked by the family to lead the procession. Therefore, she goes once around the circle of life. There are four seasons, there are four directions. There are four cycles of life. There are four colors of men, women, and children who journey Mother Earth. As Aboriginal people, we humbly only go four times. She knew that the circle was complete, so her responsibility is to ask people to stand stationary and to recreate the circle of life, stand tall, stand proud, and stand together. Okay, now we'll go to the jingle exhibition. All jingle dress dancers up to 10 years of age. Take the arena floor, please. Up and down, up and down. <laughs> so Maga Scott has been given to JC. JC, thank you for joining the family and you continue. You continue your honorable walk, JC. You certainly mean a lot to our people. All jingle dress contestants up to 10 years of age, you were asked by the family to take the arena floor in the spirit of being a junior princess and a tiny top princess. They wish to honor you. These are our future grandmas. These are our future lawyers and doctors. I'm so honored amongst the Ahanian people and the Nakota. We got to send two students to law school this past week. Sarah Gon, a descendant of Bull Lodge himself. The book Seven Visions of Bull Lodge. Lake Mount, a Henny Indian. Mountain Man, a direct descendant of Jagithak Anatha. Jagithak Watsui of Chief of Wolf Chief Necklace and Necklace Spirit. They left the University of Montana. They started law school this Monday morning. They both were brought up in the culture. They both were encouraged by their family and their grandmas. And I echo Marcus Red Thunder's guarantee. You keep these children in ceremony, you keep them together, they become successes. Okay, this is the last call for all of the Jingle Dancers up to 10 years of age. This is your special. This is the Junior Princess and her sister's way of thanking you for being here this weekend. Running child, you've been asked to do the honors for the family at this time. So please carry through as we honor our junior our princess, Katea Fransberg, and her younger sister, the Tiny Todd Princess, Jasmine. Okay, ready to do us the honors as we continue to uphold the honor of the 2013 Little Shell Traditional Powwow.
their happiness and their beauty, their innocence. We give thanks to all the good people who brought them here to add to the beauty of the sacred of life. all of you for being here this evening. It's her way of telling you, Ijehea Jenehea's Panamaya, thank you for being here to come and to dance in honor of the people. She thanks you in your travels that you continue to put your regalia on and to represent the dignity of your nations. Always keep your friendship, always keep your smile. In an appropriate way, a tremendous offering was made to the Running Child Singers. I myself got good Indian taco money. Thank you. And Des continue to support the beauty of two daughters, Leona and Iris and all you good people. You have done a good job honoring your young people in an appropriate way. And be assured that by the kindness of your heart and the spirit of Ba'ithe, the hawk, big eye himself, that uh, good things will come your way. This concludes a special of our junior princess in the tiny talk. Let's give Desiree Kilego a fine round of applause for carrying through for the beauty of her two daughters. I'm thinking Habad. Okay, we'll go back to Marcus now. Marcus, continue the great port part that you are doing in the celebration of life. All right, thank you, Gerald. Thank you, princesses. Beautiful special there. At this time, break out your 50-50 tickets. We're going to give away $75. $150 was made by all of you to go to the powwow committee. So we're going to do a drawing here. Can we have our princess, little princess? Little shell princess. Bring her up here. We're going to have her draw the 50-50 ticket. All right, here we go. We got your blue ticket. Ticket number seventy-five dollars. Ticket number. All right, drum roll, please. Eight three one eight zero six zero. Eight three one eight zero six zero. Your winner right here. All right, we have a winner. All right, you won seventy five dollars. Big round of applause for all of you that helped out the committee. 
made by us an inner tribal one of us young men dancers young men cat category all categories get ready Running Shield will give us a exhibition dance right after this intertribal. Magpie, sing us an intertribal song. All dancers come out and warm up. Young men dancers ages 7 to 17 get ready to come on out. We're going to call upon Running Child for that exhibition dance right after this intertribal. Intertribal time, everybody dance. Intertribal.
from the Turtle Mountain Reservation in North Dakota. Welcome you and all your family, and that you all all have a safe travels back home and take beautiful blessings back with you. Thank you, Margie. So, Powwow community members, I have about a hundred and two dollars. $104 up here for you. I have $75 from Margie Johnson and family. And then I have another $25 from Sandra Berchum, who gave to the committee. And another $4 from an anonymous donor. How a committee doesn't pick it up, it goes automatically to the announcer. Oh, yeah. All right, looks like we have our grass dancers out there. Today, sir. Just a short interruption, Marcus. The Killing Eagle family handed me a $25 donation. They'd like to give it to the Pow Wow Committee. So, Joe Overton, please come forward and accept this $25. Finale, I thank you to Grandma Leona Kennenberger. She gave the committee $50 as well. So let's give these people a round of applause for the $75 donation. Joe, the $75 winner, gave you the whole pot back. It's there. It's a lady that Mark has introduced. Can the winner please come forward so that Joe can shake your hand? Margie, why don't you come up here? Margie, Panamaya, for the kindness that you have in your heart to help the committee by giving the winning pot back. Be assured that the Bistawas, the grandfathers, will bless your life with good health, long happiness, and that your home fires will be strong and warm. Thank you for the beauty of life that you share. A hope. Thank you, Marcus. All right, how the committee came up right away and grabbed that money. <laughs> The new announcers are bold enough to take it now. All right, looks like we have all our young junior boys and teen boy dancers out there. Running child's ready. Dancers are ready. Spectators, are you ready? Let's give a big round of applause for these young boys. Junior teen dancers. Then we'll kick it on over to running child. When you're ready, these boys are ready to tear it up. You boys ready to tear it up? Yep, they want to dance through style. Yeah, yeah. Ready, child. Go ahead. You heading out? Anytime. Well, it's nice seeing you. Are ready? I'm still bringing them back. All right. I'll mail them back. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Let's try to not have dead air. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Grass dancers. All grass dancers out there. Looking good. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 